this video looks at a fail-safe method for solving equations involving algebraic fractions. Now first of all we place brackets around anything either above or below which contains more than two, more than one term. So an x and a 2 in brackets, an x and a minus 4 in brackets. We also write the integer, if it occurs within the question, as 2 over 1. Now, the next step is to force each of these three terms to share a common denominator. Now, we take the x plus 2 and we basically force it into the other parts of the equation. But what you do below a fraction, you must also do above. So I must also write an x plus 2 here and an x plus 2 here. So that's the x plus 2 dealt with. I then take the x minus 4 and do the same thing. So I force it in down here and therefore on top as well. And I also force it into the one over here. I therefore do it the top as well. Now these three parts of the equation therefore now share a common denominator, albeit with it swapped around the middle one, but it's there in all three. So I can now just literally cancel off the denominators because it's an equation. And so I'm left with the following 5x minus 4 plus 3x x plus 2 equals 2 x plus 2 x minus 4. Now to solve this requires us to expand the separate parts first of all. So 5x take away 20. Which I'll put in a bracket. Plus the next part 3x squared plus a 6x. Now then be careful with this part here. There's a 2. We then expand this using either a smiley face or foil or a grid method. x times x, x squared. 2x take away 4x is minus 2x. And 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. So we've expanded the brackets, apart from the very last 2 there. And we then begin to make it simpler. So look at the left hand side. There's a 3x squared there. There's a 5x plus a 6x, which is 11x, and there's a minus 20. And this must equal this part here doubled, so in other words, 2x squared minus 4x minus 16. Now then, the trick now is to get all the terms to one side and you look for the highest x squared term, which is this one here. So let's get all the things to the left hand side. So, I don't want that there, so I must take away 2x squared. I don't want that there, so I must add 4x. And I don't want that there, so I must add 16. That leaves that side equal to 0, but I must do the same to the other side. So 3x squared take away 2x squared is just x squared. 11x plus 4x is 15x. And minus 20 plus 16 is minus 4. So we have an equation equal to 0. So to solve this, there are various methods. Step 1, it might factorise but this doesn't factorise, so the only option, really, is to use the formula, the quadratic formula, which tells us the solutions to a quadratic equation, which is as follows, x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, the a, b and c in this are the coefficients in the equation. So a is the number of x squared, so a equals 1. b equals plus 15 and c equals minus 4. 
right then. So x equals minus b minus 15 plus or minus the square root of 15 squared minus 4 lots of a lots of c. c is negative all over 2 lots of a. So x equals minus 15 plus or minus the square root of 15 squared is 225 4 times 4 is 16 2 negatives goes positive all divided by 2 now we're almost there minus 15 plus or minus the square root of 225 plus 16 241 all over 2 now these are two solutions left in the form of a third either minus 15 plus or minus 15 minus this square root all over 2. And we'll leave it as a third, like so.